Well, the business climate in Jamaica remains positive. We have just had a strong budget presentation by the Honorable Peter Phillips, the Minister of Finance. However, I must say that the withdrawal tax, which has been suggested or which is likely to become law shortly, is a disappointment. Well, any law that creates a unrehearsed, undeclared tax on current deposits that are in banks is unfortunate because it creates a liability that the depositor was not aware of before he made the deposit. And that by itself is troublesome. Perhaps the government could have considered other methods of raising the revenue. The IMF has been very tight and very stern with Jamaica, and we know that Jamaica must meet certain specific guidelines if they are to continue to receive IMF funding. I do not believe that a tax on withdrawals is the way forward, however. There are so many other areas where revenue is not only available, but viable. Well, who, Jamaica must, it seems, compete with Barbados, with Trinidad, with St. Kitts, with Nevis, with Anguilla, with the Cayman Islands. All of these have stable, strong financial sectors. Financial sectors that do not present depositors with unnecessary surprises. Jamaica must also compete with London, with Switzerland, with the United States, with Canada, all financial sectors where Jamaican Americans do business and do business rather than doing business in Jamaica. Jamaica should try to have a conservative financial sector that encourages depositors to place their money in the banks rather than taxes depositors who place their money in the banks. I'm not suggesting that this is a huge tax, but I am suggesting that it is an indication, a wrong indication to people who wish to do business in modern Jamaica. I think that Jamaica has never fully grasped its potential role as an offshore banking center. Jamaica could easily have been the offshore banking center for all the Jamaicans all over the world. Jamaicans generally want to send the money back home to Jamaica, but now they will be wondering what are the potential consequences of sending the money back to Jamaica. Not only do we have to look at the FATCA situation, but now the government is going to, without notice, take withdrawals from one's deposits. This is a serious matter and something that probably ought to have had further cabinet review before it was introduced in the budget. But Jamaica needs to be serious about attracting investment because of our very slow economic performance over the last six or seven years. However, Jamaica has not really grasped some of the opportunities that do exist. Now, hopefully, in the future, Jamaica will not interfere with its very efficient banking sector and put legislative shackles on the sector which will prevent that sector from being able to attract depositors.